Out of nowhere, the trailer for Paper Mario and the Origami King. Let's analyze everything right now! What's happening, my Block Buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Contents, Paper Mario the Origami King Newspaper, where we unfold all the latest details on the new Paper Mario game. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your Origami King content for today. Yes, guys, I mean, this is a really interesting situation where out of nowhere, a trailer pops online, no direct, no huge announcement leading up to it, and we couldn't have even guessed that something like this was on the horizon, right? We've all heard about, yeah, a Paper Mario game returned to form and stuff like that, but what would that look like? And is this game a true return to form? Well, of course, as you guys know, Blocked Content started out as a channel that mainly did like color splash videos back in the day. You know, we did some voiceover stuff, animation, and then when it first found its audience, Blocked Content, was really, you know, founded by Color Splash videos, Analyze. So I know that a lot of you guys are probably still out there that really love that franchise. And I'm still here and I'm still saying, let's break this down. This is a brand new show. So hopefully if you guys watch these episodes and if they do well, and if they're fun to do, then we'll do a whole lot more. I hope you saw that brand new animated intro cut scene. It was a lot of fun to make as well. So yeah, I'm actually excited about this, but I'll talk a bit more about why I am excited and why I see a lot of things in this that maybe a lot of other YouTubers are not seeing in it. But yeah, I'm definitely super hyped and excited, and I can't wait to talk to you guys about all of that. And I've of course been answering many of you guys' questions about upcoming games and characters in our show Question Block, where I answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube videos yourself? Well, whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com. I will answer your question live in our next episode. And here's a brand new giveaway. You can win one of these Super Mario Surprise Capsules. There's really cute Mario characters inside there, and you can actually win one of these four. So please like this video right now, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below to enter for that giveaway. All right, guys, let's get into the main topic of today, and let's just roll that trailer and see all the beautiful things that we're gonna find. Okay, so it all opens up with the Mushroom Kingdom. Yes, we're in Peach's Castle right now. And what's really cool here is that I think the graphics are really different right now. We get that really glossy look of some things, you know, very paper arts and crafts materials. And of course, this Princess Peach pops out. How good to see you. This origami weird vibe and weird music starts to play. Will you crease yourself and be reborn like me? And of course, Mario says no. But then what's cool about this, and let's pause it right here, is that the idea here is that this is the same Mushroom Kingdom, the same Paper Mario Princess Peach Castle as the first Paper Mario game. Of course, it always kind of looks different in a lot of games, and it also bears a lot of resemblance to the Mario Odyssey version of Princess Peach's Castle, but I just wanted to note that it does look very, very similar to that Paper Mario 64 style, but it just has a lot of different details. And of course, that carpet that we all know with the sun emblem from Super Mario 64, when you look up the ceiling, then you're of course in that wing cap zone. Well, I, I think I really like the design here because they build a little bit upon the graphical style within Color Splash, which I already kind of liked, but it was a little bit too papery to me. And it seems like they're doing that sort of style, but still making it look like Mario in this game. That's why I really love it. So um, yeah, I actually really like that about this game, that they take their time to make things look and feel a lot like a Mario universe and not necessarily just like Yoshi's Crafted World or something like that. So we continue on. Wrong answer. Right answer. It matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. Of course, the paper puns, right? And then zooming in on Origami Peach saying goodbye. What is going to happen? Well, the floor pops open and whoa, Mario falls. Now we get a whole lot of screenshots and I wanted to pause on this one. Here we can see the main baddie of this game. Yes, popping up right here. And this is King Ollie. And this is really interesting because King Ollie is the villain of this game, but is also the brother of your sidekick in this game, which I think is a really cool new spin. They're probably getting a lot of mileage about story on that. And of course he can transform into different enemies because he can just origami fold into a lot of these different enemies from the Mario universe. Now within this story, there's a a lot to talk about because yeah the story of this game is actually pretty interesting 
for a Mario game, especially for a Paper Mario game, where there's a brand new villain and the villain has a brand new paper art style and can actually recruit enemies that we know from Bowser's army. So that is insanely interesting to me because yeah, that basically means you're gonna have to be teaming up with Bowser. And if we just look at Nintendo's original message says, the kingdom has been ravaged by an origami menace. So join Mario and his new partner, Olivia, as they battle evil folded soldiers, repair the damaged landscape, and try to free Princess Peach's castle from the clutches of King Ollie. In this comedy-filled adventure, only on the Nintendo Switch system, and Mario and Luigi receive an invitation from Princess Peach to attend an origami festival, and they excitedly hurry to Toad Town, but something's amiss. After investigating an early empty town, the duo finds a fearsome, hold it, Princess Peach. She's been turned into origami by King Ollie and the ruler of the origami kingdom. With five giant streamers under his control, King Ollie binds Princess Peach's castle and transports it to a distant mountain as part of his plan to refold the world. And a lot more on that too, because we can analyze a lot from this trailer as well. On his journey to liberate Peach's castle and repair the ravaged paper landscape, Mario meets Olivia, King Ollie's sister, and the two join forces to put a stop to Ollie's origami onslaught. Even Bowser falls victim to Ollie's plot when his minions are turned into origami folded soldiers and betray their Koopa King, forcing him to ally with Mario and Olivia. Battle the folded soldiers in ring-based battles, yes, we'll talk about that too, that challenge you to strategically line up enemies to maximize damage, and out of battle, Mario can use the arm-extending thousand-fold arms ability in specific spots to interact with the landscape to pull, peel, hit, and more. Join Mario, Olivia, and their companions on a journey of laughter and emotion, thrills, and a whole lot of folding. And of course, the key word there is Mario, Olivia, and their companions. And yes, we're going to be talking about that. So yeah, let's just watch a little bit more of this trailer right now. So King Ollie, of course, an origami plot, and he is basically unfolding his plan right now. The streamers go and take Princess Peach's castle, put it on a mountain. That's his plan for world domination. He just wants all these big parts. And there we go. And I wanted to pause it right here because the interesting part about this is that we get some sort of team. This is really cool. Shy Guy essentially saving the day, the Koopa Clown car. But it feels like Bowser was maybe already at Princess Peach's castle, maybe to do some dastardly deeds, right? Like the first Paper Mario game, Paper Mario 64, that all starts with Bowser lifting Peach's castle from the ground in his own mechanized Koopa Clown car, a big sort of planet sized. And that was all really interesting. Maybe he was trying to do something very similar in this game. That's why Bowser is close. What would happen now is Bowser looks to not be folded into an origami version of himself, which is basically a, you know, needless, hopeless sack of just paper, a roll, nothing. So maybe he escaped just in time. Maybe Mario saved Bowser just in time for Bowser to escape. But of course, he isn't plain old Bowser here. So you don't have Bowser as a party member normally, but maybe out of the adventure that exists in this game, Bowser will unfold slowly and you get more abilities as that party member progresses, right? That'd be really cool. So at the end of the game, maybe you fight the final boss and have an ultimate battle with Bowser, Mario, and Olivia. So I thought it was really cool that Bowser and Bowser Jr. and Olivia are all a party together. So it almost feels like you start the game with a really cool party of characters. There's a lot of other party member sort of characters. It's not quite the same as in Thousand Year Door. I'll talk about all of that too, but let's just watch a little bit more of the trailer. So the idea here is that they escape. Probably it's a cutscene, but it feels like you can play it as well. And why I wanted to pause it right here is that, yeah, you can see that they're doing all these cool things like a paper mache Goomba. And that basically means they're using this whole new style, this folded origami style, but also using a lot of different crafted materials. I mean, you could already see it in color splash with the paint mechanic, but right here, you can see that they not only do the origami style and cardboard, but also paper mache. So what other styles are we going to find, right? And I mean, is this a creation of King Ollie himself or is this something new? So let's head on and watch more. Yeah, it's eating it. And of course, that's probably where Mario finds Olivia. And this is a really cool sky segment. And of course, we get the big river raft that feels like Mario RPG, the thousand fold arms. And here I want to pause it because we see Bowser Jr. right here, comic as well. And of course, a really cute paper mache boat right there, an origami ship, or maybe it's a form that Olivia takes to be swimming. Now, what I love about this is probably like some sort of hot spring. So it feels like 
This is uh, one of the areas that you can reach if Mario uses the boat, and you'll see that later in the trailer too. Feels very much like Wind Waker, and now you find all these party members later down the line. So maybe this is where you find Bowser Jr. This is where Bowser Jr. hides his own little Koopa Clown car, and you basically recruit Bowser Jr. when he sees that you have Bowser on your team as well. So that's really cool. Maybe, tada, how do I look? Is maybe because Bowser Jr. was also folded into origami and maybe this spring can fix that issue or something. Or maybe that's just something that the character says in this cutscene. But what I think is really cool is that, yeah, in the first game, in the Paper Mario 64 game, you also had, of course, the Kami character. And now it feels like Kamek is maybe even serving that same role where it's basically advising Bowser Jr. or working together with the bad guys. But it does seem like Bowser Jr will end up joining your party in some way or another or help you on your adventure so let's head on and see oh yeah there's a little bit more of that area and this is really cool the part where mario is you know racing around in that shoe really feels like a brand new area this purple desert with a lot of toad like emblems and signals but what's cool about this is that this is a pretty much big open area you'll see that a lot in this trailer and that's basically a sort of world map idea they're they're not doing like the traditional world map that we know from the color splash and sticker star stuff, but they're doing something even more open right now. It does feel a little bit deserted, but it is a desert, so that can happen, right? Head on to find more, and there's of course a paper ball, paper airplanes, and a lot of cool stuff to do with those arms, and those cannons, and the ground splitting open, but I wanted to pause right here, because the trailer now shows that battle system, and this is a ring-based battle system, and what's cool about this is that it is a brand new system that combines both puzzle elements with battle elements. So no, it's not like the, you know, the first two games, but it's also not a card-based battle system, which a lot of people are happy about. It does have an audience every time you battle, so I like that. And the fact here is that you can basically select a couple of different options. It's sort of like a 4D chess field where you can ultimately, you know, solve a sort of puzzle mechanic here where Mario can combo string moves together. So we don't know all that much. There was another, you know, Japanese video from the website that, you know, shows a little bit more about that battle system. But essentially here, it's just showing that, yeah, Mario can string together more traditional combos. So no, he doesn't use cards or anything crazy like that. What he does is his general stomping abilities. And hopefully another hammer and hopefully moves that also Olivia is able to do in those battles. So that I thought was really interesting. So let's watch more. Yes, line up for power. And I wanted to pause it right here because of course in the previous shot we saw Sniffit and yeah, that kind of village, which is a really cool like little town. But I wanted to pause it here because it does show some sort of like Wind Waker-esque world where you can just, you know, freely boat around the whole world and find different islands for different weapons, right? So that's really cool, uh, power up and all that good stuff. And if we pause it right after that moment, we can see Mario and Bowser traveling together. And I think that this might be the Mushroom Kingdom's Peach Castle. And this might be, you know, the underground of the castle or something like that. And this is where you basically bust Bowser out of Peach's castle, right? Just before maybe they were attacked or something like that. So I love that about it. Like Bowser basically walks around because he's just folded in two. Um, that's really cute. And having him as your partner early on in the game only to maybe lose him. Uh, I think is a really cool mechanic because you can bring back Bowser later in the game when it feels like your party basically needs a big heavy character. And maybe Bowser is healed at that point. He is the paper Bowser that we all know. So let's watch a little bit more. It's coming to the end. Fire worlds, ghost worlds, and of course this Japanese inspired world, a character made out of string, and of course Bowser's castle being hit a big turtle out of paper, and that's where we have it. This is possibly, you know, where we'll fight the Ollie character, which is really cool. And of course, if we head on the trailer a little bit later, we'll find out there is another little cute reference in that trailer to another Nintendo franchise that a lot of you guys like and love. Yes, we can see a paper mache head room with Goomba, Donkey Kong, but also, yes, it is Samus. And what I thought was really cool is that it's both Donkey Kong and Samus, both two properties made by Retro Studios. So you got to think, is this an homage to Retro Studios? Is Retro Studios somehow involved in the, you know, idea or creation of this game? Is this, you know, just a little wink and a nod? But I think it's really cool. And Mario looks really awesome pretending to be the awesome heroine Samus. So yeah, that's pretty much all that's in the trailer. But there's a lot more to break down. And I will do that in the coming days, in the coming weeks. The game actually comes out in 64, yes, Nintendo 64 days from now, which is super quick turnaround time 
Also really cool that in July we get to play a brand new Switch game, a brand new first party Switch game, a brand new Paper Mario game. Now my quick thoughts on this are, yes it's modeled a little bit more towards a color splash world than let's say a thousand year door world, but we're getting a lot closer to having party members. I mean, you can already see the bob -omb party member, Olivia. We can already see characters like Bowser joining the fray and Bowser Jr. So they're taking a lot of advice from the YouTube videos that we make, the YouTube videos that other users make, and of course also the general public that just really wants to see elements from the first couple of games. So I love that about it. I think they're doing a great job. I can't wait for more on Paper Mario the Origami King, and I hope you guys love it too because, I mean, we're working so hard with this brand new show that's called Paper Mario the Origami King newspaper to bring you all the information that you would want out of your Paper Mario experience. And I feel like this was a long time coming, right? I've been waiting for a very long time to get a brand new Paper Mario game. You know, this is a little bit different than what I would have expected, right? Because yeah, you think that that thousand year door thing is coming just because of everything going on in the world and because of all the information that we got from those leaks. So yeah, I'm really curious what that's going to transform into, what's that going to fold into. But yeah, there's going to be more videos on this, so please press the subscribe button. And of course, yeah, today's comment question, let's talk about that. Of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this video, of a new show. Do you guys want more episodes of this? If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And of course, today's comment question is, what element of Paper Mario the Origami King do you want me to talk about next? So let me know in the comments. As for our previous comment question, winner, our answer comes to us from Bayonetta Darkrai 101 saying, Metal Gear Solid second rep would be cool. Not really sure if we are getting a Metal Gear Solid rep. Raiden looks awesome as another sword fighter that hurts his chances. So yes, Bayonetta Dark Ride 101. I agree that another sword fighter might be a little bit too much, but I think that Raiden in terms of sword fighting is very different. It's very close to Ryu Hayabusa where it's like, oh, sort of a ninja inspired moveset. And of course, yeah, Raiden has all those like thunder strikes and crazy, you know, abilities with his sword. And you can literally like time this like the blade movements and of course also slice any way you want you can move around that i think would be very awesome and expressive so that's really cool i think that it is possible but maybe not for ultimate but you know anything could happen in this crazy nintendo world where we get a paper mario trailer literally out of paper thin air right so thank you guys so much for sending in all your comments these are always so much fun to read and of course a big shout out to our latest patreon supporters everyone that's joining on patreon and donating something to get special rewards you guys are heroes and, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. If you don't already, please consider supporting us, patreon.com slash blocked content. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, hit subscribe now, smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.